TV9, the spirit of Oklahoma. Oklahoma's news leaders, Mignon Merchant, Mitch Jelniker, Gene Wheatley with the Farm News, and Nelson Robinson with the weather. This is Newsline 9, Morning Edition. TV9, the spirit of Oklahoma. Now, Oklahoma's news leaders, Mitch Jelniker, Mignon Merchant, and Nelson Robinson with the weather. This is Newsline 9. WTV9, Oklahoma City. Now, Oklahoma City's news leaders, Roger Cooper, Patty Suarez, John Snyder Sports, and Oklahoma's number one meteorologist, Gary England. This is Newsline 9, Late Edition. Good evening. Mike Carpenter, Jennifer Eve, Sports with Ed Murray, and Paul Boucherot with the weather. This is Newsline 9, Weekend Edition. Good evening. Once again, a football weekend in Oklahoma. KWTV 9, the spirit of Oklahoma. Now, Oklahoma's news leaders, Mitch Jelnicker, Kerry Robertson, and Gary Lezak with the weather. This is Newsline 9. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Carpenter. Mitch will be here at 5 o'clock. And I'm Kerry Robertson. Thank you for joining us. KWTV 9, the spirit of Oklahoma. Now, the number one rated newscast in Oklahoma with Mike Carpenter, Sheila Hyland, sports with Rich Henkels, and Alan Mitchell with the weather. This is Newsline 9 Weekend Edition. Good evening. The price of progress may be too high for some residents of Oklahoma City. KWTV 9, the spirit of Oklahoma. Now, the number one newscast in Oklahoma with Patty Suarez, Roger Cooper, John Snyder Sports, and Oklahoma's number one meteorologist, Gary England. This is Newsline 9 Late Edition. Good evening. The Boeing Aircraft Company has made its decision tonight. TV 9, the spirit of Oklahoma. Now, the number one rated newscast in Oklahoma with Jack Bowen, Patty Suarez, Bill Teagan Sports, and Gary England with the weather. This is Newsline 9 Late Edition. Now, the number one rated newscast in Oklahoma with Mike Carpenter, Deborah Lauren, sports with Rich Henkels, and Alan Mitchell with the weather. This is Newsline 9 Weekend Edition. Good evening. The search is underway this evening for an elderly man missing from his northeast side home. KWTV 9, the spirit of Oklahoma. Now, Oklahoma's number one rated newscast with Mitch Jonathan, Deborah Lawrence, Ed Murray Sports, and Oklahoma's number one meteorologist, Gary England. This is Newsline 9. Thanks for joining us. Ever since the fiery end of the standoff in Waco. Now, the number one rated newscast in Oklahoma with Jennifer Reynolds, Roger Cooper, Bill Teagan Sports, and Oklahoma's number one meteorologist, Gary England. This is Newsline 9 Late Edition. Well, the weather won't be much of a problem in the nation's capital. And now, Newsline 9 continues with Angela Buckaloo and Brady Bruce. More developments in the Murrow bombing case. We now know exactly where in Denver the trial will take place. And a police officer is the victim of a pipe bombing in Porter, Oklahoma. Luckily, he wasn't in his car at the time. And more of an, an inconvenience and a scare for some American Eagle passengers in Tulsa. Working in the spirit of Oklahoma, this is Newsline 9. On the streets again. A steady stream of Oklahoma General Motors workers sent home tonight. A strike in Ohio put the brakes on work at our General Motors plant. No parts means production grinds to a stop. Good evening, everyone. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm you're watching Newsline 9 with Jennifer Reynolds, Kelly Ogle, Bill Teagan Sports, and Oklahoma's number one meteorologist, Gary England. You're watching Newsline 9 with Kelly Ogle, Jennifer Reynolds, Bill Teagan Sports, Robin Marsh with your health, and Oklahoma's number one meteorologist, Gary England. 
working in the spirit of Oklahoma. This is News 9. The News 9 investigators confront some men who appear to have been looting from tornado survivors. Good Sunday evening. I'm Alex Cameron. And I'm Amy Holly. But first, weather is on the minds of a whole lot of people tonight. Let's get the latest from Brady in the forecast center. Brady. KWTV. More local. More meaningful. This is News 9. More local. More meaningful. This is News 9. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Ann Howard. I'm Kelly Ogle. We're glad you're here for News 9 at 6. More local, more meaningful. This is News 9. Temperatures in the triple digits. Summer at its hottest. It is the worst time of the year to be without fresh running water. But that's just how it's been for nearly 20 hours in one Oklahoma town. More local, more meaningful. This is News 9 at 6. More local, more meaningful. You're watching News 9 at 10. From KWTV, Oklahoma City, this is News 9 This Morning. You're watching News 9 This Morning. From KWTV, Oklahoma City, this is News 9 First at 4. From KWTV, Oklahoma City, this is News 9 at 5. And from KWTV, Oklahoma City, this is News 9 at 6. Boy, we don't have to tell you, it is miserably cold. You're watching News 9 at 6. You're watching News 9 at 6 with Kelly, Amy, Gary, and Dean. This is Oklahoma's own News 9 in high definition. Right now on News 9 this morning, four Oklahoman children infected with E. coli. Why investigators say the cause could be linked to a daycare. Plus the latest unemployment numbers about today will tell you what's expected and what that news could mean for the economy. And you buy homeowners insurance to protect you and your home, but one couple says its policy was canceled with the company citing our state's severe weather as the reason. Our Consumer Watch team investigates this morning. Good morning to you. Happy Friday, everyone. It is 4 o'clock. I'm Emily Wood. Both Stan and Jed are off this morning, but Matt is here with us. Matt, are we looking at another warm week? This is Oklahoma Zone, News 9 in high definition. Good afternoon. Right now here at 4 o'clock, after a seven-hour standoff with police, a suspect has been arrested in Bethel Acres. How police say he's connected to a shooting over the weekend. And police are asking for your help to find a man accused of exposing himself at a metro restaurant not once, but twice. Doctors are seeing a spike in patients with high fever and stomach aches. And now the question is, what is going around? That's all coming up. First, though, we start here at 4 o'clock on News 9 with the arrest of a man accused of assaulting a woman at his home in Bethel Acres. This is the same home where a man was shot and killed. You're watching Oklahoma's own News 9 in high definition. College graduations are just around the corner, and a new class of grads will head out looking for their first job. This is Oklahoma's own News 9 in high definition. Good evening. We are learning new information tonight about a Metro man arrested in what police call a murder for hire investigation. A joint task force served the warrant today. From News 9, this is breaking news. Good morning. I am Bobby Miller with some breaking news. We've got Rachel Calderon on the scene of a fatal accident. This is Oklahoma's own News 9 with breaking news in high definition. Good evening. Glad you're with us tonight. And we begin tonight with breaking news. One person is dead after being hit by a car. This is Oklahoma's own News 9 with severe weather in high definition. Good evening. Tornadoes within the last few minutes and flash flooding across the state tonight. We are tracking it all for you. On the scene, on the story, News 9 starts now. And right now here on News 9 at 4, upgraded charges for a woman for her alleged part in the death of a Tecumseh police officer. Plus a terrible discovery in the town of Enid, a baby found in a trash bin. And the White House press secretary apologizes for recent comments on the chemical attack in Syria. But first, we begin with new developments in the death of an 18-day-old baby. 
on the scene, on the story. This is News 9. Legal sports betting in Oklahoma. A case being heard in the U.S. Supreme Court. Right now on 9, breaking news. A woman is stabbed inside a metro gas station. Plus, a good Samaritan tells News 9 how he jumped in to help a dog being choked unconscious. And a doctor speaks out against today's medical marijuana emergency rules. On the scene, on the story with breaking news. News 9 starts now. Thanks for joining us. We do start with breaking news. Oklahoma's own News 9 starts now. We start tonight with a sad update to a tragic story we've been following. A third student, Colby Crum, has now died following a hit and run earlier this month. Live from downtown Oklahoma City, Oklahoma's own News 9 starts now. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sylvia Corkill. News 9, working in the spirit of Oklahoma.